What's up everybody? It has been a while since we videoed. We've been uploading and editing out of sequence. So I think the last thing you saw was us cruising around on the snowmobiles. Uh, we can't do that anymore because today is May 15th. And as you can see, there is a lot of exposed grass. Finally, um, we're at least a month behind Anchorage and the Matsu Valley as far as snow melt and spring coming. Um, migratory birds have been down in the valley for almost a month now. So anyways, today we are doing a simple project with this stuff here. This is linoleum and we are refinishing the covering in the outhouses. I'll show you what the old stuff looked like. We'll do some after pictures. It's going to look sharp. I'll show you what the inside of the outhouse looks like now. Not bad. We keep them clean, but it's old and ready to be replaced. So, all right, so there's the old linoleum. A little bit of a back guard there covered by some stained rough cut. Anyways, it's an outhouse, so what do you do? We're gonna make that look better. And then, I wanted to show you how little snow we have on May 15th. And if you remember when I talked about hummocks in the backyard on one of the episodes, I'll link to because I don't remember what one it is right off the top of my head. Check this out. This is what happens in our backyard. This is about eight inches lower than this. And it is all just frozen ground that just heaves up in October, November. And now... Um, as you can see, there's patches like this that are starting to sink back down to normal ground level. All right, we're going to get a level and start cutting some linoleum. See ya! All right, so we got to gut this place. I'm going to take out the magazine rack, pull up the old wood and linoleum, and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like gutted, and then we'll get some after video. All right, so I gutted the outhouse but then we decided to call a huge audible. <laughs> now what are you doing? We're, uh, I'm taping off some stuff so we can paint <laughs> projects. I, you've heard the saying before, projects always beget other projects. It's always beget other projects. If you haven't heard of it, you know, you should hear it. Oh, hey, step out for a second. Let me see that. There it is with no seat, no linoleum. That looks like your grandpa's outhouse right there. This ain't no grandpa's outhouse. This ain't your grandfather's outhouse. We're gonna get this thing painted, get some new linoleum on it, and then we'll see how it looks. All right, so Joe is out here sorting through one of our little sheds, but I was going to have him show you, you the finished product of the outhouse. Oh, let's go. We actually got done the very same day but the weather got so bad that we didn't really want to film in the rain. So we'll show you what Joe did. The unveiling. It was a joined effort. Nice. Need some before and after pictures of that. Cool. Let's see here. We got this new linoleum. Looks like some faux rock work. Went up higher. So it's all the way behind the seat there. And then the paint. What do you think of the new outhouse look? It looks good, but I'm wondering what it is. <laughs> We're just showing the people in YouTube land uh, the work that we did on our outhouse. Yeah, They're the not finish. In YouTube land. They're, They're not, not in YouTube land? Okay, They're Chloe's got to use the bathroom. Bye! <laughs> yep, looks good. So if you guys ever want to, you know, redo your own outhouse, it's simple. It is really simple. We got some linoleum. You cut it, you start from the door, you run up over the bench, up to the back, and run oh, yeah. a little bit of trim. So Yeah, we'll show you the trim. Worked out good. Keeps it nice and tight. And then some nice, uh, some nice paint. Everything came from Lowe's. I don't know if that makes a difference. Probably not. That wasn't a plug for Lowe's. That's where <laughs> it came from. This is not a sponsored video. All right, cool. Good job, Joe. Quick look at what it's looking like here. Last week of May, some snow in spots around the yard and the lake is still frozen pretty nice and solid. You know what? The snow went all the way to here. 
Well, the snow was up past your head up to the two, three, four, fifth step up there. Put your hand up. Yep. Yep. It was halfway between four and five. So now it's all the way gone there. Hi. Hi, cute. And, uh, whoa. We are predicting that the lake ice will be gone by about June 2nd. How about June 2nd? Does that sound good? Yes. All right. That sounds awesome. And then we'll get a float plane on the lake after that and get you out of here. Okay. It sounds like, well, I hope the snow melts tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it'll be gone by tomorrow morning. I All right, kid. Happy. You want to sign off? Say goodbye? Hey, how about you do the whole, thanks for watching. No. Please like no. this video. No, I can't do it. Sorry. I can't do it. No, I'm not doing it. Eileen Bell, will you say, um, thanks everybody for watching. Like this video and subscribe. No. Please. I'll give you a treat. Uh, say, what do you have to say, again? say, thank you for watching our video. Like and subscribe and have a great day. Say thanks for watching our video. Thanks for watching our video. Like and subscribe. Bye. What did you eat? She ate some chocolate. It's stuck in her teeth. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm ignoring you. <laughs> I'm ignoring you. Would you like to see it? See what? What are we looking at? Something odd? Yeah, I want to see it. All right, let's go. Okay. So I can go bare feet. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> I can go bare feet. Wow. So here's where the plants are. Oh, they're starting, to, they're starting to butt out. Yeah, and then look up here. You didn't plant that. Uncle Joe didn't put a raspberry bush there? Nope. What are you... So they're... So that's a mystery. Well, tell us what you think happened. I think a... Well, actually, I didn't think this, Uncle Joe. Then, then I thought that, too. Okay. You so, agreed with Uncle Joe's... So, like, there's a bird here. He ate a raspberry, and he pooped it out. And then it came a raspberry plant there. You think so, the bird poop planted a seed in the ground? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that? It's possible. Do you think it's true? <laughs> it is not possible <laughs> I don't know I do not know for sure and I am I'm gonna be the best. all right let's go in the house okay. say bye everybody <laughs>